I decided to make a video just because uh, I feel like I have to make one. I, I, I don't like letting my web page kind of, uh, um, I don't know what the right word is, but you know, kind of lapse, um, I guess. Uh, but I should be doing more writing. I should be doing way more writing. Um, it's, I find it very therapeutic actually to write. Oh, some of the subject matter though, I, I just have to do a lot of reading for it. Um, but writing I think is definitely uh, something that helps me think cl more, uh, more clearly and sometimes I find that at the end of writing something I'm I have a better grasp of what I what I want to say um, and it, it, it that, that really just helps with it's like a domino effect so it helps with everything else that that's been floating around in my head and I start placing things um, but I, I've reached a plateau I've reached a, a, a stage at which I'm questioning again like I, you know I think I have the basics down I, I kind of I kind of know who everybody is what they're all about what the arguments are I don't always fully understand what they're trying to say but I, I do I do get the basics I get the I get the gist and maybe I'm doing myself a disservice by saying the gist but I, I do I, I get the I get the meat of the matter um, politics is something I definitely need to get more into and um, I know Saudi Arabia is kind of big in the news today and not just today, but in the past month, um, they've been doing some under this new king, um, King Salman bin Salman or whatever, Mohammed bin Salman. Like, I mean, he, you know, there's some stuff going on. And I think the Israeli-Saudi relationship is kind of heating up as well. I think there's a lot going on there um, in terms of intelligence and, 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 uh, and allyship, if that's a, if that's a word. Um, so it's something to keep your eye on. And I think this bin Salman, I think this uh, this King Salman complex thing that they're building um, to examine the hadith, I think is I think it's something to keep your eye on because I don't think it's that. I think it's much more showier than than what they would want to be uh, interpreted from it. Um, they're trying to create this moderate image, but at the same time, it seems like I don't know the King Salman complex for the study of the hadith seems a bit showy, don't you think? Um, something feels shaky there. Um, and then you know all the you know the the rights of of women to drive et cetera et cetera but you know the the people who were sort of the crusaders for the cause are they have to kind of remain quiet and it's kind of has to be seen as this you know bin Salman um initiative you know um so it's so it's it's something to keep your eye on and um I, I'm getting a little bit better at understanding the complexity of the middle east and what's going on with hezbollah lebanon yemen uh iran uh you know and like I said the Israelis looks like some stuff is kind of shaking up with them in the US too. Um, so um, yeah, maybe there's gonna be a regional shift in power, you know, but uh, I don't know how Trump is gonna react to it. I know CNN says he doesn't know what he's talking about or even doing, so it's, he's kind of a wild card, right? The, the Joker or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so all that stuff is going on and I, um, I, I, I definitely wanted to comment on something I posted the other day about stupidity. Um, they say that stupidity is is more common, and I got it from a, a I got it from the Waking Up podcast with uh, Sam Harris. I forget which guest it was, haha, <laughs> stupidity. But um, it was definitely uh, it was definitely a great comment because I, I found that it was just so raw and honest in 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 the way it was put across. That you know, there's a lot of talk about intelligence, but create, create um, stupidity is much more common. Um, and I think I think it's something that just I think it's something everybody says. I think it's it's something that everybody notices. And we all are ignorant about certain things, about a lot of things. Like not, none of us are specialists in everything in the world. So I mean, there is a lot of, uh, there, there is a lot of ignorance and a lot of stupidity go around. Um, but I think I, I kind of personalized my own meaning from it. Like I just I I, um, I I kind of thought to myself, well, you know, like you know. Considering the fact that not all of us are experts on everything, and there's always going to be blind spots and and, and biases and things like that, so there's always that. You know, I, I can't remember exactly how in what exact context that was said, but you know, for me personalizing it, I, I think what I mean by stupidity is just basically a lack of intellectual honesty with yourself, like with the stuff you say, with the with your daily goings on. Like if if you were just intellectually honest with yourself you would you would have a better understanding of the world and a better understanding of what people are trying to communicate to you like but i find that in a lot of cases people are just completely self-absorbed and intellectually closed off to anything um the conversation doesn't move forward it it, it actually regresses and devolves um it, you know so what i'm referring to when i talk about stupidity is just basically 
just being open to to different ideas as opposed to ramming down your ignorant viewpoint down somebody's throat just for the hell of it, you know, uh, without any real discussion or any real intellect or, and you know, I even use the word intellect kind of loosely sometimes, right? I'm not talking about public intellectual or intellectualism as this elite sort of thing. I'm talking about like common sense, like how your mind creates and solves problems. That's what I'm referring to when I, when I kind of use that quote about, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about intelligence, but stupidity is more common. That's how I'm using it. Um, I think I find that a lot of people in the world, and I, 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 I think it's a common thing as well, and I like the rawness of the, of the quote, uh, but they, they just are very intellectually dishonest with themselves. And they articulate things that aren't, this is a, something I got from Jordan Peterson. He said he finds that with some, some students, they write what they feel people think they should write, and they end up articulating thoughts that aren't at the core of what they think, and then that, that, that side of the story gets subverted and you, you end up with this, with this conflicted character, this, this, it's almost like you're lying to yourself, right? You, 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 you don't express what the truth is. You express what everything, uh, everything, but what the truth is. So you end up with this shaky foundation on, on which you built all these opinions and, 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 and opinions, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's what I meant by the whole stupidity thing. I think I, I, it's not so much about being duh. It, it's more about being just intellectually honest with yourself, like with it, with with what you're saying. Um, but so yeah, so there there's that. Um, but anyway, I I just watched a uh, I just watched uh, not watched. I just listened to uh, Sam Harris's latest podcast, and it was his it was his posting the um, the audio from his event in Vancouver a month ago or whatever. Um, and yeah, so this this idea came up about creativity, and I think, you know, I, the the question kind of entered my mind, and I, I was listening along, and like, you know, the idea of creativity came up, and it kind of answered a question I've been kind of banging around in my head for a while, and it, it has to do with um, with with evolution, basically. Um, you, in in the, in a more rudimentary way, the the question could be related to to what what we call technology and humans relationship with technology how we like how how quote unquote natural is technology like where does that come from and 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 Richard Dawkins explaining creativity kind of answered the question a little bit because there's a lot of creativity involved in in building technology and in, in, in science um, in all these unnatural things we do there's a lot of creativity and creativity is somewhat of an evolutionary uh, characteristic of, of human beings um, you know other animals don't build technology I mean there's some there's some the 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 far reach of the gene like you know the um, what do they call it the um, uh, the uh, genotypical or the genotype um, genotype behavior general I forget but forgive me but you know just basically technology is something that's so far off the far off the scale when it comes to humans you don't really find it in other animals like there's there's millions of species that have been on the earth and none of them ever even look to the stars to think about aliens or extraterrestrials or what else is out there. I mean, only humans do that, right? So, I mean, we have this, we seem to have this sense that isn't quite explained through evolution. And I'll give you another example. God said the other day was talking about human greed. And it's basically because we evolved to live on the plains of Africa and where scarcity is a thing scarcity of food, scarcity of, of, of the essentials of life. So we end up living in these societies now built upon technology and abundance, but we still have that evolutionary kind of scarcity thinking where we're, we're, we're constantly wanting to collect and eat to, to make up or to compensate for the lack of abundant resources when really the technology that we've built and the societies that we've built actually have a lot, a lot of, 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 of food available, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, uh, supplies and, and necessities of life like it's just it's it's a uh, it's uh, it's everywhere and it's you know but we still have that evolutionary kind of jump that we didn't quite make after we graduated from the savannas of Africa and I think that's another example of where the technology thing com comes in as well and the creativity things comes in as well like what is that mech it's, it's a bit of a question more than you know me pondering something um, but it's it's like what is that mechanism where we like what is that called when we when we've 
when our when our, the way our technology and society works moves faster than than evolution can keep up with like what is maybe that's what it is maybe i just said what it was but i mean is there a name for it like what you know what is it i'll look into it but i mean i found it really interesting and i think creativity has something to do with it i think um creativity is a is a natural thing that humans have and we we've we've kind of it's kind of our own creativity has kind of outlived our evolutionary progress right so we I hate to say progress because it's not actually progress, but uh, you know it's kind of outlived our evolutionary step. Um, so we we have this kind of this this artificiality. I mean, you know, you think about even concepts like empathy, right? Where where empathy is supposed to be or used to be thought of as you know um, something that was uh, the basis for morality almost. But uh, you know, we've been hearing lately that you know empathy is probably not the best thing in terms of creating public po policy or creating you know social policy the you know empathy is actually could actually be used in a very destructive way and and can have like these biased or torted sort of outcomes when it comes to you know um you know uh the the well-being of other people and yourself etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah i i just you know i, I thought about i thought about all these all these little quirks i mean in some sense it feels like we we're like a lot of what we've built as human beings um, in terms of society as, as as even in the face of it getting better and better in terms of well the well-being of people I mean you think about Steven Pinker's book right the better angels of us or whatever um, where we've seen that 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 societal progress to living better and better lives but it, there's that because of, because I'm trying to figure out what that mechanism and it, it, it feels a little bit like uh, it feels a little bit like uh, like like it's all a mistake you know it's it's like everything all our all for all our civilizations and for all our technology and for all our search for extraterrestrial life that all those hu very human things are just some sort of you know metaphysical or, or biological some sort of you know mutation that shouldn't have happened you know because um, no other animals do it right like no other animals do what we do so i mean it, it feels like there's some something unnatural and i'm sure there's space in there where some people might insert uh, you know, divine sources, right? Like, I mean, it, it, it kind of leaves itself open to that a little bit, especially since I, I'm not sure what that mechanism is and I'm kind of throwing examples at you. But uh, but yeah, it feels a little bit like that. Um, anyway, that's that's pretty much all I want to say. Uh, can't really think of much else. I really need a haircut and I need a haircut uh, maybe sooner rather than later. So, you know, maybe next week when I get my money. Um, anyway, that's about all for now. Bye.